this is a Chinese Communist Party that is acting in a way that poses real threats to the world, and the United States is going to respond each in each of those venues to make sure that we preserve American national security and impose costs on the Chinese Communist Party in order to achieve the change in behavior that will have the good outcomes. We want to free and open into Pacific. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party continues to treat that body of water as its own maritime empire. We're not going to allow that to happen. The CCP has launched an orchestrated campaign across all of its many tentacles in Chinese government and society to exploit the openness of our institutions in order to destroy them, to secure a world of freedom and prosperity for our children and our grandchildren. The free world will need its own version of a whole of society approach in which the public and private sectors maintain their separation, but work together collaboratively to resist domination and to win the contest for the commanding heights of the global economy. America draws strength and goodness from her founding ideals and that our foreign policy must be grounded by those ideals as well. But we know this, we, we can't do good at home or abroad if we don't precisely know what we believe and why we believe it. Without this grounding, without this grounding, our efforts to protect and promote human rights is unmoored and therefore destined to fail. And so the Commission on Unalienable Rights was born. These rights, these unalienable rights are essential. They are foundation upon which this country was built. They are central to who we are and to what we care about as Americans. All Iranian officials who commit human rights violations or abuses should be held accountable. The United States calls on the international community to conduct independent investigations and to provide accountability and justice for the victims of these horrendous violations of human rights organized by the Iranian regime. America's national security, our, our foremost objective by far. It's the highest priority of any Secretary of State and certainly for President Trump as well. Our founders understood this. They understood that keeping our citizens safe was the very first duty of any government. Our founders built our country on a commitment to essential rights, unalienable rights, something I spoke about at length yesterday in Philadelphia. They come from these amazing documents, our Declaration of Independence and our Constitution. And our nation's foreign policy must be grounded in those central understanding. That's the commitment that's made us a shining star of liberty in the world.